International tournaments, and the World Cup in particular, present a great opportunity for players to showcase their talents in front of an enormous audience. In footballing terms at least, the whole world is watching, and a number of careers have been made at major competitions. Judging a player off the back of just a handful of games is risky business though. Harry Redknapp signed Javier Margas at West Ham off the back of the Chileans' performances at the 1998 World Cup, only for the defender to jump out a hotel window and catch the first flight back to Santiago. El Hadj Juf made the 2002 World Cup team of the tournament in a Senegal shirt, but just started gobbing all over everyone once he joined Liverpool. Or how about Cleverson, another star in 2002 and actually a World Cup winner with Brazil, Manchester United won the race to sign him, and he rewarded them by being fairly rubbish in most of his 30 appearances. So having recently looked at seven one-goal wonders, today we look at seven players synonymous with a single major international tournament. Here are our seven one-tournament wonders. Saeed al Oiren. The 1994 World Cup was Saudi Arabia's first, and they reached the knockout stages following wins against Belgium and Morocco. Their impressive 1-0 triumph over the Belgians in Washington came courtesy of one of the finest solo goals ever scored at a World Cup, by the man in 7th place in this set. Saeed al picked up the ball in Saudi Arabia's own half and began channeling his inner Maradona. Twisting and turning at pace, he beat 5 Belgian players before slotting past Belgium's world-class number 1. al was actually very prolific as a player, but never played outside of Saudi Arabia and his only club, Al-Shabaab. He was named Asian Footballer of the Year in 1994, but two years later, he was caught drinking alcohol and socialising with women during Ramadan. He was given a lengthy prison sentence and a one-year ban from playing football. George Best really would have been screwed had he played in Saudi Arabia. Frank Borgi The USA were rank outsiders going into the 1950 World Cup in Brazil. A ragtag bunch of amateurs, to make matters worse for the Americans, they would have to face England, who had dominated European football in the late 1940s. In one of the greatest shocks in football history, the USA won 1-0. A couple of players from that team could have made this 7, but we've gone for Frank Borgi. Man of the match between the sticks for the US against England, Borgi was a former baseball player who later opened up a funeral home. He played his club football as an amateur in Missouri and only won 9 caps for the United States. Ilhan Manzas Sometimes international football is all about timing, and that's certainly true of Ilhan Manzas. A fairly unremarkable centre forward, he had his best ever season in the 2001-02 campaign, scoring 21 goals for Besiktas and winning his first cap for Turkey in 2001. He did enough to earn a place on Turkey's plane to the 2002 World Cup, where the country impressed. In the quarter-finals, Manzis came on late and scored the golden goal in the 94th minute against Senegal. Turkey were dumped out by eventual winners Brazil in the semi-finals, although not before Manzis humiliated Roberto Carlos with a flamboyant rainbow flick. He then scored a brace against the host South Korea in the third place playoff. His former Besiktas dropped off soon after the tournament, and he was failing in Japan before his 30th birthday. Age 33, Manzis left football and took up professional skating. Henrik Larsson Do not fear, it's not this Henrik Larsson, but this one. The former was of course a world class centre forward, whilst the latter was less talented, but more successful at international level. One of Denmark's shock winners at the 1992 European Championships, Larsson was struggling to get in Serie B side Pisa starting 11 at that time. Following his tournament exploits though, he made a loan move to Aston Villa, where he failed to make a single appearance. Larsson subsequently spent a season in Germany's second tier before returning to Denmark. Salvatore Scalacci Whilst the previous players in this seven may have shone in major tournaments, none had an impact quite like Salvatore Scalacci. An indistinct striker who only hit double figures in Serie A once in his entire career, Scalacci would be the surprise star of the 1990 World Cup. He scored six goals, winning the Golden Boot as the tournament's top scorer and the Golden Ball as its best player, beating the likes of Paul Gascoigne and Diego Maradona. He finished second in 1990 Ballon d'Or voting, but scored just five goals in the season, which followed Italia 90. Having won his first Italy cap in 1990, his last came in 1991, and he scored just one goal outside of the World Cup Finals. Like Manzis, he was playing in Japan before the time he was 30. Josimar An unlikely star of the 1986 World Cup in Mexico, Brazilian right-back Josimar won his first caps for Brazil in 86 as a stand-in for the injured Edson. He scored two incredible goals, 
The first being an absolute thunderbolt against Northern Ireland in the group stages, and the second a mazy jinking run finished with a fierce strike of his right boot against Poland in the round of 16. He made the team of the tournament, but they would prove his only two goals for Brazil. He became an overnight celebrity and he couldn't handle the fame. As he himself put it, the blondes came and the training went. He joined Sevilla in 1988 and Flamengo in 1989, but failed to breathe new life into his career. Oleg Selenko In top spot is a World Cup record holder. Oleg Selenko has scored more goals in a single World Cup game than any other player in history, having backed five against Cameroon in 1994. He scored another against Sweden, and despite Russia going out in the group stages, he won the Golden Boot jointly with Haristo Stoichkov. He never scored for Russia outside of the World Cup Finals, and joined Valencia after the tournament, but scored only seven goals in his single La Liga season. Moves to Scotland and Turkey followed, with limited success, and he never won a cap for Russia after 1994. So that's it for our top seven. Thanks for watching, let us know your suggestions in the comments, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to HITC7.